Or are you dressed like Mike right now? <laughs> Dude, there are some sheets that need to be sprayed. That's all of our furniture stuff, though. Let's see that. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? I brought computers for just me. Costume for Dylan or actual? Uh... Dylan, that's Mike. That's Mike. Take, take off the glasses. <laughs> Yeah, it is I mean, it looked like it was my outfit. Welcome to the new space. It's a work in progress, but it's a step up from what we're used to, which was this room. Less. <clears throat> Less, yeah. Um, so hopefully, coming into this space <clears throat> will be a good transition into the next space. Because you know, from when we go from here, we're going to three times bigger than this. Um, but this is going to allow people to have their own offices, dedicated showroom, a little break area, an office specifically for deals if you've got it. <clears throat> We're gonna have an office, Trent Sutton's gonna have an office. The idea is going forward, everything that um, we did yesterday and beyond, forget about it. Whatever protocols, whatever processes we've had, we're gonna start everything fresh and everything new and there's gonna be new, new structure. Everyone's gonna have a position and a role and you do your role. Our biggest problem is disorganization. <clears throat> too many people, like too many people going to too many different people for the wrong things. You have a job, but you're coming to him for your job or you're going to him for his job. Everyone, it, it's confusing. Everything's gonna go from now on through the proper channels. There's gonna be a system in place. <clears throat> we'll break everyone's individual roles down to what your job is, what your duties are, you only do your job. Dylan, if Vic comes to you for something that's Trent's job, you say, go ask Trent. That's it. And you go back to what you were doing. Vic, if someone comes to you for something that's my job, you direct them to me <clears throat> or the appropriate line of communication. One of the things that you sell, that the sales team struggles with, it, there's two things, CRM and data entry and finding watches, right? Imagine if you guys could go through your leads and you have a list of 10 watches that you need. Rather than to go out in all the different groups, putting these calls out and you having to manage it, all I want you to do is find the watches, get the specs that you need, you send them to Alfred. Alfred's only job going forward is to find us watches. And it's not buy leads, it's going to be sales guys. If you need watches, if I need watches, if Marco, Dylan, Liz, Chris, <clears throat> anyone that needs watches, it's gonna get presented in a proper fashion and sent to Alfred. And his job is to find you the best deal, get it to you, and, and then you close that deal. Marco's gonna be our sole buyer, and he's gonna do buy leads for right now. Buy leads is in everything that people want to sell us. Yes. It's all going through Marco. So people put a form in through the website, I'm looking to sell this watch, I'm looking to consign it. <clears throat> Marco's gonna hammer those out because he knows the most about it. Trent, you are gonna be inventory management. Sutton, you're logistics. You only do shipping and receiving from now on. You don't have to send shipping labels anymore. You don't have to do consignment, consignment agreements. You don't have to track any of that. You don't have to reach out to anyone. You, packages will come in. The first person to touch it is you. You're gonna be responsible for when a package comes in. You unpackage it, get rid of the trash, and you have a, a pile of everything. Make sure everything is together with whatever watch came in. And then you're gonna take it to Trent. Son, even though you're just doing shipping, you gotta be close eye with, with Trent here because if Trent's out, you're backing him up. Vice versa, if you're out, you guys are backing up. Marco and Alfred, you guys oh, are yeah, yeah. backing each other up. Yeah, so if... Okay. Just in case if someone's out, someone's sick, whatever the case may be. It's a lot of information today. Don't, don't freak out thinking that it's overwhelming. I, I've got to remember all these processes. Tomorrow and Tuesday is going to be training. So tomorrow when we come in, we're pulling all the watches out, all the boxes, everything is gonna get logged and inventoried when it goes into that room. We are going to be <clears throat> meticulous on organization, cleanliness, structure, processes. There is a lot of people out there that need work. There's a lot of people that do actually wanna work. There's a lot of people that wanna work for us. If you're not on board and you're not pulling your weight and you're not doing simple, simple, simple stuff, your job's not safe. And I don't say that to like, to be threatening. We're not, it's not a threat or anything like that at all. It is, I want everyone here to be successful. We, we try to take care of you as best we can. It's gonna get better and better and better the bigger we grow, but it's only gonna be for people that are pulling their weight. Dylan, you've been here longer than Vic. Which desk do you want? I don't mind, what do you want, Vic? We can do a call.
coin toss. Man. Fucking coin toss that shit right now, so people know. Okay, and then you call heads or tails. Heads. Heads. Window. window. There you go. Good thing is if y'all ever get bored, you literally only have a laptop and you just sweat. <laughs> literally, you can just swap. So, Darby, come on. Aha! The roles have reversed. See, I told you this. every time he walks in, he looks mad. No, it's sad or mad. Are you mad? No, I'm not mad. That's mad. Okay. No, wrong chair. Wrong chair. That's the investor chair. So, why am I the only one getting filmed? Are you nervous? No. Uh, well, should I be? Maybe. We just brought you in here to tell you that literally nothing, you're the only one that absolutely nothing's changing for you. Yeah, sorry. Oh. So. Is that it? That's it. This is. Liz. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. What are y'all doing? It's the first person to walk in here and set in the right spot. Yeah. But we changed a lot of things up with Darby. So, we're going to do the same with you. I don't know, you'll have me nervous. Like, this is very, like, mob boss style. <laughs>